Alright, what's going on guys? So today, it's another code example coming for you. Here we go. So, I'm um, just looking around and uh, seeing this collapsible um, header here. Um, once you scroll a little bit off the page, and I'm just going to show you guys how to um, create this um, using just kind of the same um, the same kind of methodology that we've been using in the past uh, examples with uh, adding and removing classes in the CSD, CSS3 transitions um, just to kind of solidify that knowledge um, and just seeing like the multiple cool things that you can do um, when certain events happen on um, the page. So I'll show you guys I've got a, my development environment going here. I'm using CodeKit to compile my SAS here or my SCSS and um, uh, I've got that compiling and then I've got um, this kind of built out. This is an image off of unsplash.com. Check it out. Super awesome website for royalty free images if you like uh, to do concept designs and stuff like that. So I've got this little navigation thing going on and um, what I want it to do is when I scroll I want it to add um, a background so that when it gets down here you can see it still and since it's not as important I want it to kind of shrink up to the top and um, uh, just kind of get a little less important as you start reading this information down here so this is just all dummy content I just threw in here really quick just to show you guys an example how to do that so I'll show you how my index is set up here and we'll pull this over to the side alright so I've got the basic header got the navs, got my app.js, got my jQuery uh, loaded in here from the Google CDN and got this banner and um, there's nothing in the banner, it's just a background image um, with a minimum height of 100VH which is 100 um, viewport height so whatever the viewport is that's how big this image will be which is pretty sweet um, I'll show you guys those styles here, so I've got the image background position center so it always stays centered to whatever um, the size of it is which is nice background cover so it'll just spread across the whole thing with 100 percent 100 vh awesome so let's go through the css here so the nav by default has a background of none um let's see if I can pull this in here so the nav has a background of none as you can see minimum height of 85 pixels you can't really see that if I show you here um, you can see the height of it let's load that in so there's a the height great so that's how big the nav is but we'll just say background none minimum height of 85 pixels position fixed um, and this is just so that when we're scrolling it'll stay over the top of uh, this content down here is the index of 20 and we put a transition of 0 0.35 seconds all in ease alrighty so on the UL we got a list style of none which is normally what you'd want to do um, so that you don't get the little dots for your navigation and the bullet points padding is 2 rem transition is uh, 3.5 seconds or 0.35 seconds as well just because we're going to be moving these things and you'll see once we get into jQuery I've got my my uh, my scrolled class here which is basically once I scroll that'll just get added to the nav and when we're scrolled the UL and the LI classes change a little bit um, and that'll be wonderful um, so let's get into the jQuery here alright so we're gonna start with self evoking function here or you could do a document dot ready function that would work as well and what we're going to do is basically when we're scrolling the whole uh, viewport area I guess you could call it is technically in the document term is called the window so we're going to select the window and we're going to say when the window is scrolled we're going to run a function so this is going to fire as you're scrolling with your mouse and it's going to fire every time and we're going to say window if that window, the distance, so this this is a um, jQuery method here, that base, basically is going to say, um, so 
what we're gonna say is if that if we've scrolled greater than or equal to a hundred pixels from the top of the of the starting point of the window, then we're going to do uh, this next thing to the document. So we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna select the nav and we're gonna add a class scrolled. There it is. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say else. And we're going to say nav. Remove class. Scrolled. And it's literally that simple. It says I have a missing semicolon here, which is this right there. Great. Awesome. No, I have no syntax issues. That's code kit helping me out there. Great. So now if we scroll after a hundred pixels, we get that. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Nice, easy, simple um, transition there, which um, can keep that from going, um, just staying too large and just kind of giving your eye to uh, more uh, moving your eye towards the content and less towards the navigation and at first you kind of want your navigation to be more prevalent and if people want to move around there and then you know they can always come back up and then wow there is your navigation again nice and pretty and more prominent there with more space kind of pulls your eye to it a little bit more um, so that's the very basics how to do that I'll just go back to the CSS just so if you have any questions with that you can kind of see what's going on. So um, these transitions are what what's making it kind of have a nice um, animation there. And so this is um, the nav is a background none. And when you scroll 100 pixels, it changes to the background of black. So you see it kind of fade and then fade out there. And then this is a minimum height of 10 pixels. Originally it was 85 pixels, and we're shrinking it down to 10 pixels there. Um, the UL has a padding all around in the beginning of 2rem. So that's what you're seeing here. And then when we scroll, the UL changes and it just has a top and bottom of 1rem and a left and right of 2rem. So that's why this isn't changing, changing necessarily right there. Um, but this top and bottom is changing as we scroll and that function fires. Um, and those um, conditions are met in the jQuery or JavaScript file. Um, so that is the basic um, kind of methodology for doing that. Just shows that you, with these adding with the, just a little bit of jQuery or JavaScript and um, um, just some simple CSS transition rules here on uh, different elements, you can make some really cool transitions. Um, depending on where you scroll and how far you scroll on the page. And it can just be some really cool, um, some really cool uh, little animations and little design, design aesthetic uh, things going on that can really make your design come to life a little bit more and be less uh, static on the page. Um, so uh, I'm going to throw up a code pen of this. So if you want to see this code um, all laid out side by side, and just kind of see how I'm doing it. Um, you can go to the code pen link that I'll leave in the description. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. If you like the video, subscribe, like. That'd be awesome. Really appreciate that. Um, keep coding and uh, take it easy.